back to my channel Forever Richie. I will be reviewing today 13 Reasons Why Season 3. Yes, indeed, I watched the whole season, 13 episodes to be correct. Um, did I like it? Did I hate it? What did I think of it? Is it worth watching? Is it worth your time? Was it worth my time? Uh, we'll find out in this video. Um, stay tuned, kick back, relax, you know, and here goes the review. Uh, this this season of 13 reasons why I I, <laughs> I just have to say why <laughs> pretty much 13 actually I want to give my 13 reasons why like really 13 reasons why like really why this season came out why did this season come out like who thought this was idea a good idea who freaking thought it was a good idea to have Nana, I think that was her name, as the narrator of the whole show. Some new character that we barely learned about in the end of season two. Um, but was a main character in season three since the get go. And Clay wasn't really a narrator like he usually was in seasons one and two. Like, I, I just. The main problems with the show, with the season, was that like Nana was like the narrator, and she was lying to everybody. But she wanted to be like Superman. She wanted to like be on her high horse and feel like she never done anything wrong, and she never was truthful. And it was like for her own sick amusement. Like like I don't know, man. Like I, I know this is kind of like based upon high school and shit, and I was in high school, but this is way. <laughs> This is way too dramatized, man. Like, this to the max, you know. It was like all the writers in the room just decided to throw shit at the wall and see what sticks. And they pretty much did everything in this season. Like, everything you could ever imagine or never imagine, they came out and, and did that shit. They did this shit in season three and made sure they got all the funny bones, all the funny jokes out the way, all the fantasized, fantasies, whoever in the show. And, and yeah, this this season was tough to get through, man. Like, to, I'm telling you, I just did not know why. 13 reasons why. I wish I had 13 reasons why. I only have one reason why. One main point reason why. Why the hell was the direction of the show this way? Like, why? Why? Like, why was not the narrator? Why was Clay not a narrator? Why was not like the main character? And in the previous seasons, she wasn't there. She came out of nowhere. She wanted to be friends with everybody. It's like she had her own vendetta. Like it was weird. Um, I don't like how the main character, Clay, is, you know, like a monster, portrayed like a monster, and yet he's helping everybody. So I didn't like that. And then I don't like how Nana kept all these secrets from everybody and then had to tell these secrets. And then I don't like the ending. How I think Montgomery. I think that was the name. Mont Monterey, or Monterey, he died in prison and he was not guilty and he was just a person they had, had thought was guilty and the, the kid, uh, I can't remember the name, but he was held liable for the killing of Bryce, but he wasn't, his dad covered it up, it was a white privilege shit that kind of pissed me off, um, cause his dad was like a sheriff, so he, he knew, but he didn't want to put his son in jail and stuff like justice and shit. So I guess he, he burned all the evidence or something towards the end. And um and I it's just so sick. It's it's this season was so sick, man. Like like it didn't give me 13 reasons why to care about this season. It just gave me 13 reasons why to be pissed off. Like really. Is it worth your time? Maybe. Was it worth my time? No. It definitely wasn't. Um, at this point, I think they're just, you know, milking it. They're just milking it. And, and if I had to give this show some stars, points, or points, or whatever rating, I would have to give it 2 out of 5. I definitely, definitely would not watch it again. I would definitely maybe stop watching the whole series if they come out with a new season. Um, would I care if they canceled it? Not really at this point. At this point, there's no need for another season. At this point, Price is dead. At this point, everything's been done. At this point, it's been dragged on too long. Like, I thought season two was stretching it. But, man, season three was stretching this shit to the max. Like, everything, everything 
came out in the season three, and wow, like it's too much, man. I love drama shows, but this shit was too much. And, and what did you guys think? Leave a comment down below. I want to know what you thought, your thoughts, and everything like that. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.